Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to make a simple Ansible application in which I will clone the GitHub repository by the Ansible script in the YAML file. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, uh, uh, as you can see here, that I'm present in my GitHub repository. So I will uh, open this and uh, create a new repository. Uh, sorry, I need to create it from here like this. All right. So let's click on this. And now what I will do, I will name this repository clone. All right. So uh, let's name this Ansible clone. Now this will be fine. Ansible uh, clone like this. All right. So after that, uh, let's uh, give the description. Uh, no, uh, not give a description here. First of all, let's uh, write a readme file. And after that, uh, this will be what you can say. Uh, MIT. All right. So let's uh, create a repository. So now you can see here that the repository is created now. So what I will do here, I will first of all uh, copy this code HTTPS and after that I will move to the uh, what you can say this uh, uh, file and I will open a terminal here by the name of what you can say DevOps uh, and uh, inside it I will write git clone this repository that I have copied the link of. So it will take some time. So now it is uh, uh, cloned. So now what I will do, I will open this Ansible clone directory. And inside this, what I will do, I will create a simple file here by the name of file.yml. All right, and let's write the script here. So this is a starting of the YAML file in which you will write a script. And after that, let's write what you can say uh, hosts sorry hosts and uh, this will be a local host so you can give any uh, a host also but i'm do giving it a local host because the ansible is installed in the uh, local machine so that's why and after that there is a connection here so i will write the connection and the connection is local because where the Ansible is installed, you can give the uh, a Docker connection, you can give the SSH connection, but I'm giving the local connection because we are in my machine, uh, the Ansible is installed and I'm uh, playing this, uh, I'm running this script from my local machine, all right? So after that, let's write the tasks. So inside this tasks, I will write name, and name is ensure git is installed, first of all. All right. And once it is installed, what I will do, I will write uh, become. So become is uh, to give the pseudo privilege. All right. So it will uh, give the pseudo privilege. It will. Uh, this is the name of the task that whether the uh, git is installed or not, because uh, uh, after that, when the git is installed, it will clone that repository using the git. After that, let's write apt. And inside this apt, I will write name and name would be like git and uh, status is going to state is equal to be present so it will check that whether the git is, is present or not so now the next task that i'm going to give is name uh, clone a repository and the next thing is like uh, what you can say um, uh, git and after that let's write uh, what you can say repo so the repo is going to be the repo uh, link that uh, i'm going to give so First of all, this is the, yeah, this is needs to be, uh, do not save it. Yeah, so there are two, there were two files, but I closed one. So let's uh, copy this link or copy this one because it is git present here. So yeah, after that, let's write the link uh, here. And the next thing is going to be destination. So destination is going to be the file name in which you want to clone that repository. All right. So this is the Ansible clone. So I want to, uh, what you can say, I want to give a path uh, of the files in which this clone, uh, Ansible clone will be present. All right. So yeah. So let's write, uh, first of all, open the terminal and insert this terminal. I will go back and uh, go back here also in i bilal k all right so i will write pwd this is the path that i'm going to follow i bilal k and copy this path and paste it here and after that i will name it ansible clone all right 
So inside this IBLL key directory, there will be another directory by the name of Ansible clone. And inside that Ansible clone, this uh, code will be uh, present or right? this repository will be transferred. So this is how it will work. So let's clear this. And if I show you the path here, as you can see here, this is the DevOps. And inside this, uh, if I go back, you can see this is the IBLLK. So inside this uh, IBLLK directory, there are other directories also. So I will uh, create another directory by the name of Ansible clone. So inside this Ansible clone directory, this data will be transferred like the license, readme, etc. All right. So this is how it will work. So let's save it. All right. So after that, let's after saving it, uh, let me just check whether it contain any kind of error. Nothing is present. Not, no error is present. So let's write you know, what you can say. Let's close this first of all. And let's write uh, Ansible playbook and K. And after that, let's write what you can say. Mm, uh, file.yml this is the file name that I'm going to run it so let's press enter on this it will ask you for the sudo passwords that I'm going to give all right that you normally give so yeah it will take some time so yeah as you can see here that uh, it is giving the status ok3 changed one so if I go to the IBLL K and if I open this for you you can see that all the file uh, data like re license readme etc they are all transferred here all right so this is the Ansible clone that is now transferred here so let me just open this for you so now you can see here that uh, it is uh, giving the data of the Ansible clone that was present here. All right. So this is how it will work. So this script is running fine. So after that, let's uh, uh, what you can say. Mm, let's open. Uh, let's first of all uh, give the um, link of the GitHub repo. I will just change it like this. And after that path in which path of the directory in which you want to clone it all right so this is how it will work so let's save this first of all git add git commit and uh, after that um, added a added a uh, clone a repo clone repo uh, script ansible script so let's write git push origin me so now the data is transferred here if i show you so yeah this is fine now file.yml so it is working fine now so now what i will do i will close this because the data is transferred uh, into the github repository now if i show you this uh, ansible clone that is uh, in the ibilal directory that is basically cloned from this uh, um, what you can say from this repository now what i will do i can work on this like if i can show you you can see here that this is the status of it uh, currently there is no status of it there is github branch as you can see here so after that let me just make some changes in it like uh, um, first of all let's create a file here like file uh, first file now you can see that this file is detected if i show you the status of it you can see the status is working fine git uh, what you can say git remote v so it is uh, giving the path of this uh, also that uh, now this uh, file uh, ansible clone is the same file that is uh, uh, belonging to this github repository all right so i can work on this ansible clone uh, and transfer the data uh, from this 
uh, uh, directory to here in the github repository or i can go to the devops directory and inside this this uh, ansible clone will also be working the same so both of these directories are the same directory that will work the same and they will transfer the data both in it uh, in this uh, github repository all right so none of them uh, is different so yeah it is working fine now so let's say if i will create a branch also like this you will see that there are multiple branches so let's check this you can see that the branch is created i can uh, save this data and i can transfer this data inside this ansible clone so yeah none of them is different you can uh, use this one or you can use this one also but i'm just deleting it so let's delete this from here so yeah because there is no need for it but uh, it was just for the demonstration purpose but the real script is this one you can see here so yeah this is how it will work so now so yeah i hope you understood and liked this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye